guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Erica and I am here making videos about all things home decor, thrifting, antiques, homemaking, motherhood, all of the things that make a home a home. So if those types of things interest you, make sure to subscribe. So today I want to share with you guys some amazing things that I have found at the thrift store lately, specifically the Goodwill. Normally, I do not have very good luck at my Goodwill, but like recently, oh my gosh, especially this last trip I took, I swear I hit the gold mine. So today I want to share with you some of the amazing spring inspired items that I found, and then I'll take you along with me to the thrift store. So when I first started going to thrift stores, I really only stuck to kind of, you know, the home decor, ceramics, um, baskets, just the easy things to sift through. I never really gave the linen section a chance. So I started going through the linens and the pillows at the thrift store and I was amazed at what I was starting to find. So today, I wanna to share with you this adorable shower curtain. It is just a plain white shower curtain. It's the Threshold brand from Target. Um, I paid $2.99 for this beautiful waffle textured shower curtain. So see, it's the Threshold. It has this amazing kind of waffly quilt feel to it. And I thought that it would go absolutely perfect in one of the bathrooms that we're redoing right now. I was wanting to get a white shower curtain anyways for that room, but you know, brand new shower curtains can be up to $30. So when I saw this, I immediately threw it in my shopping cart. The next item that I found in the linen section are these embroidered pillowcases. These are so charming. They just scream cottage to me. So I think these would be so adorable to put on the guest bed um, as just decorative pillows. So it's a pillowcase that has this striped and it's a tan stripe, so it's white and tan with the striping, but this beautiful embroidery, I don't know if you guys can see that, but pinks and yellows, I thought this is absolutely perfect for spring. It's so cheerful, and this set of two was only $2.99. So you get two shams for three bucks, embroidered, adorable. The next item that I found in the linen section, again, are these adorable pillows. They have these ties on the side, like this, and there was two of them. So they were $2.99 each, and there's no stains on them. I can't really tell Raymond Waits is the brand. I feel like this is something you would find at like TJ Maxx, but so, precious. I thought this would also look really cute layered on top of the embroidered pillows on the guest bed. They just are so cozy feeling and they're small and petite so it's just going to help with that layered look on the bed. Okay moving out of the linen section but kind of still into the bathroom I found this wicker tissue box cover. So I had always kind of turned my head towards these. Um, I just thought if I didn't want my tissues on the counter, I would just, you know, put them under the sink so they're tucked away and out of sight. But there's some people that love using tissues. So I found this wicker cover, and I have seen these, you know, at Target and Hobby Lobby, but this one was $3.99. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. It is so cute. Thought it would go perfect in that same bathroom that I'm going to use the shower curtain in. 
Okay, and if you guys have watched any of my shorts that I've created, you will see a very common theme in most of them, and there's always books. I love vintage books. So I always go to, to a rack at my Goodwill, and there's just a little section that's labeled vintage books. And I just thumb through them. I look for the old copy dates or the copyright dates. Um, the older the better, but I also look for the color. So this is a very pretty blue, but it's also worn, which I love. And this is a really pretty cream color to help offset some of those dark colors. It also has a little bit of red on the binding, but yes, I always go to the books at the Goodwill and these are $2.99 a piece, which is, I'd say, a pretty good price because if you go to some of those antique shops or even when I went to the, th the flea market a couple weeks ago, people were wanting $12, $13, $14 for a book. So $2.99, I always seem to grab a few of them every time I go. The next item I found was this milk glass um, kind of canister with the dish. That's what it looks like. It has the grapevines on it, and I know that these can be worth some money. I did not purchase it with the intent of selling it. Um, I have started to gravitate a lot towards milk glass, so I just thought it would be a fun piece to add to my little collection. It was $3.99, and um, yeah, I just thought, what a fun little piece. And even if I wanted to use it as a candy dish, it has the lid. So I thought it was a fun little find. Now the next thing that I found was something kind of unique to what I would typically look for or even purchase, but it's this really cool cross stitch photo of Paul Revere. And I just thought this was so cool. I love, here I'll show you close up, I love the frame and even the matting it's on is this really cool burlap. I don't know, it just, the fact that it is hand made in this beautiful frame, it felt so cottagey to me. I am not quite sure where I'm going to put this, um, but it was $10. And I did a quick Google search and I did find one on eBay that was selling for $70. So, I don't know, I thought this was a really cool piece to find for 10 bucks. Um, so yeah, I have no idea where I'm going to hang this at, but for some reason, the history nerd in me just thought it was so cool and I just had to have it. All right guys, that concludes my haul. Um, I feel like it has a very spring vibe to it. Again, I some of the things I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet, but for the most part, I have a plan for each thing I purchased. So if you guys wanna stick around, I will show you guys some footage of what my shopping day looked like when I purchased these items. If not, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.